Welcome back, everybody, to our continuing live broadcast of the 777X first flight. The airplane took off at 10.09 this morning from Payne Field. It's been flying around the skies of Washington for the last four hours, and you can see it here on final approach at Boeing Field in Seattle. Yep, let's just watch that airplane land. Very first landing of the 777X. So for the last four hours, the airplane, uh, the pilots have been exercising the triple X's systems and controls as part of a detailed test plan. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at where the airplane's been flying today. We took out a pain field. Oh, let me stop. They're looking. Uh, wingtips are folding right now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's thank great. You. Look at those wingtips folding up. That's great. And Ted, that's automatic. Yeah, I'm landing, it's automatic uh, to get below 50 knots and then we tip so full. Very cool. So as I mentioned before, this is the map of <laughs> where the airplane flew today. We took off from Payne Field, went over to the east, did some testing up there, as Josh mentioned, about four hour flight. And then the aircraft has um, come and landed here at BFI. Just watching it roll down the runway. Yeah, these are beautiful images. So we'll just tell you, uh, as you watch this video, you have Josh Green, Emily Sanchez, Ted Grady, one of our uh, Boeing test pilots here. Ted, uh, looking at that map and seeing the flight path, how, how did they choose that? It, it mostly it's determined by weather and airspace. Uh, we have some agreed upon routes with air traffic control and you want know, to get away from a you know, busy arrival pass into Seattle. So uh, generally it's you know, northern Washington going east-west and that's generally what they did, stayed out of the arrival pass and then tried to stay the convenient place for our chase airplane to be able to drop into Moses Lake, refuel and then come and catch them uh, without wasting a lot of time or fuel. We saw a little circle around what looked like Mount Rainier. Is that like a yeah. a bonus for I, you guys? I think that's probably an essential part of every first flight. Get a get a, a hero <laughs> shot in front of Rainier. <laughs> Can you tell us a little a, a little bit about what they've been doing in the air for the last four hours? Yeah, sure. I, you know, after initial takeoff, as we spoke uh, yesterday, uh, assessing the state of the airplane, doing some systems checks having the chase airplane look them over, make sure everything's looking good. And then they just work through the test points in that uh, first flight uh, test plan. And uh, then they hit, hit a point where uh, it was time to come back based on fuel and time in the air. And uh, they really accomplished everything they needed to for this flight. And Ted, can you share um, some of what you were doing after takeoff today and monitoring what the airplane was? I, I was doing? in the telemetry room just listening as all the, uh, the, the smart folks in there were uh, monitoring the airplane and uh, tracking the, the flight. Um, it, it was good to hear the, you know, it, we're, we have radio communication with the pilots and uh, listening to, to Van and Craig, they're very pleased with the way the, way the airplane be behaved. It uh, behaved as expected. Uh, it, it, it kind of validated uh, the initial validation of uh, some of those